Welcome to our live training session number 19. We're going to be tuning a road race Acura Integra using Honda S300. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a B18C bottom end. Now it has CTR pistons that have been fitted into the bottom end. It also has a Civic Type R cylinder head along with Brian Crower Stage 2 cams, upgraded valve train, and adjustable cam gears. Now in addition to this, it has a Skunk 2 70mm throttle body, a short rim intake, a race header, and a catback exhaust. On the fuel system side of things, we have South Bay 550cc injectors, an upgraded 255 liter power fuel pump, an upgraded fuel pressure regulator, and we're going to be tuning it on 93 octane again using our Honda S300. So now that we covered the details of the vehicle, let's jump into our live training session so we can configure the base map and get our engine fired up. Welcome to our live training session here with our Acura Integra. Now we went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our S Manager software so we can create our base calibration file to get started with this live training session. So moving into our S Manager software, we're going to go up here to the top under the upper left hand corner. We're going to see new calibration. That's going to allow us to start with a fresh calibration file and I'll go through that process of modifying it so we can upload it and then begin our tuning process. Let's go here to new calibration. Now when we click on that, we're going to have a whole bunch of options here if we're kind of going down our list. We're going to be seeing here that we can start off with stock equivalent files and then we also have files here for different injector sizes, uh, different engines if it's going to be supercharged. Um, we see that we have even some F-series engines, some H22 ITB choices. Now in this case or most cases I always choose a stock P28. I'm going to go through this process pretty much every time I go to start tuning something that I haven't worked with yet and I don't have a, a developed calibration file. So I'm going to go in here and select my stock USP28. Now you can choose any of these other files here that are stock, but I'm going to be choosing the P28. It's just going to be my personal preference. So I'm going to click this. I'll click OK. And now we're going to find that the file populates here in our S300 software. And we're going to see here that our fuel tables, you can see they're uh, generated with some data. We also can see our two-dimensional lines here. They're going to represent these fuel tables. So before we go in and alter anything in our fuel and ignition timing tables, let's jump into the parameter section so we can program all the details of the vehicle. We can see up here in our tab parameters, when we click on this, it's going to open up and this is going to be where we program things such as our injector data or maybe our sensors. So we have a different map sensor or uh, calibrating our throttle position sensor. This is going to be all where it takes place, not outside of this area right here. We're only going to be using these tables for fuel and ignition timing tuning. So we're going to be making our changes here for some background things, such as those sensors data, and then we'll move in here to do our actual tuning process. So let's jump in here and we're going to go to our upper left hand corner, starting at this tab. We're going to work our way all the way across all the tabs here, all the way down here into VTEC. Once we get to this point, um, we'll have programmed everything relevant for the vehicle, and then we can move into setting up our fuel and ignition timing tables here and getting them ready for our tuning process. So let's go up here to the upper left hand corner. Now we're gonna find here analog inputs. We're gonna find if we've wired something else into our S300, oil pressure, fuel pressure, or even a wideband, we could wire it into here, depending on what input we would configure it here. We've went over this in the training course, but um, I don't have anything on this particular vehicle that I've wired into an analog input. We're gonna be moving on here. Let's go here into boost control. Now this doesn't have uh, any, any boost control at all. It's naturally aspirated, so we're 